What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video today and today we are going to be trying out a little something new here on the channel and we're going to be taking a look at uh, older models in my collection. So this is the retro model review series that I'm going to be starting. So I'll be taking a look at a lot of older models that are in my collection, more specifically ones I've gotten from uh, quite a few years ago that some of you probably have never seen before in very good detail. Um, so to start off the series, we have this uh, Gemini Jets 1400 scale uh, United Airlines Douglas DC-3. And this is in a really old livery. I don't know when it's from. I don't know too much about classics. So if we'll go ahead and take a look at the box first. So at the top we have the Gemini Jets made for collectors by collector slogan, the latter of which is not really true anymore. Computer generated image of the aircraft, Douglas DC-3, and then we have the United logo underneath, and then the 1400 scale die cast model aircraft at the bottom of the flap. So to flip it open, we have the model inside. It's oriented weirdly uh, compared to previous Gemini Jets unboxings that I've done. So we have that, and then we got the pamphlet with the aircraft info on it. So it's my only DC-3 in the collection. I'm hoping to get more, but I just don't collect retro models that much. Um, I'm kind of with a group that collects a lot of the more current day airliners. And the box has taken some damage, as you can see right there. A little bit of a, a scratch on that, and then a lot of a lot of crinkles and wrinkles all just kind of all around the box. So here's the side of it. So this is the this is the small box, as you can already tell. Uh, so we got the computer generated image over here, the Douglas DC-3, and the item number is GJUAL1109. On the back we have the computer generated image of the plane again, got the Gemini Jets logo and the as reels it gets information, I'm not going to read that because everybody knows what it says if you've got multiple Geminis in your collection. And this is a 2013-ish release. And you got some other disclaimers over there on the left side. And uh, yeah, and then you got the traditional Gemini stuff here at the top and bottom. I don't need to read that out because everybody knows what that is. So uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at the actual model itself. And there it is. That is our United DC-3. I don't know what livery it is, but it is definitely a very old livery. As far as I'm concerned, I think the owner of this aircraft now is like Clay Lacey Aviation or something, because this is November 814 Charlie Lima. Not sure if this is an airworthy example, but if it is, I would like to see it. I've only seen one DC-3 before, and that was like a historic uh, flight like company thing just owned by that. Um, business or whatever owned by that organization and they had that flying around flew into Sioux Falls back in May of 2019 and that was really cool to see it had like Pan American World Airways titles on it like really old so I'm um, pretty amazed that a lot of these are still flying these days mostly kind of in like weird obscure areas where they can't really have like a lot of newer aircraft these days so I'm going to zoom into each part because why not? So at the front, we have the cockpit windows. You got a little door right there. Really, really tiny compared to what we have nowadays. The very tiny United titles uh, right next to it. Got the little windows for the uh, passenger area. We got uh, United Airlines above the uh, blue cheat line. And then inside the blue cheat line, we have DC-3 mainliner. Got the rear boarding door. And got some United titles and a red and blue stripe. And then there are the props, if it will focus on it, so you can kind of see, got some nice details on it. Um, yeah, there you go. So you got some nice details at the uh, tips of it. You got some red, white, and blue stripes, and you got some little dots uh, closer towards the center. And then there's another, another little detail there at the nose. I don't know if you can see it, but I think that's like another shield uh, for United Airlines. Um, and then you got the landing gear. This is a tail wheel plane, so that's kind of why it sits like that. A lot of the aircraft used to be like that back in the day. And then they switched to the more conventional uh, tricycle landing gear that we have on a lot of aircraft today. Flip it underneath, we get the uh, aircraft's registration. We got the United uh, titles on the left side, or on the right side, the starboard wing. And on the port wing, we have the registration, which is November 814 Charlie Lima. Got the Gemini Jets logo and a stand hole and various details along the wing. So, looks really nice, 
pretty good aircraft. I'd recommend finding it, but the the thing is with all these 1400 DC3s, they are super hard to find. I have not really seen any sort of eBay listings appear. So, um, if you want a 1400 DC3, um, you're <laughs> you're kind of out of luck. I mean, I'm sure Aero Classics has a few more recent offerings, but um, I don't really collect Aero Classics because. Uh, retro models is not typically within my um, spectrum of collecting. I do like to pick them up every now and then if they interest me because I do have a soft spot in my heart for retro airliners. Uh, but nevertheless, this aircraft is really nice. I got this back in... Oh goodness, I, I have no clue when I got this. I got this um, quite a few e Easter's ago actually, back when I used to do that. And I got that along with a couple of other good models. I can't really remember which ones. I think I had a Swiss A330 as well. I may look at that at a, at a later date. Um, and I think that's all I got. I was supposed to get another one. I think it was like a Delta Express 737, but I never got that. So D I don't really know what happened there. But nevertheless, I did get those other two, and those are really nice models as well. This is back in the time in which I didn't really know what I wanted to collect. I just like to collect things that interest me. Um, whether it be like the old prop liners or some more bigger planes and then everything in between basically So whatever I could find that interested me. I would try to get it So this is just one of those things that interested me and yeah nice to have a little piece of aviation history in my collection I may have to try and find some other good stuff. I wonder if they have a 1400 Wright flyer I may have to try and get that maybe Shapeways is a 3d printed version of it because it's probably super tiny uh, compared to a, like a DC-3 or a 737 that I also have. Now a lot of you probably don't know what I have in my collection, so I'll just like pick out random models that I have that maybe some of you haven't seen before, except in the uh, full collection videos, which I just kind of show showcase for like a few seconds and then move on to the next aircraft. So I'll start picking out random models that I think are really nice to see and something that I haven't really picked up recently. So hopefully you like this uh, little new idea that I came up with. Um, I'll try to do this as like a monthly series as well. So we'll see how well this first one does. And then if it does well, I may consider doing a second edition for next month, which would be March, because this is coming out in February. And we'll see how it goes. So that being said, that is the end of the video. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.